The tool I'm using to hold it is the HMH True Ply tool, and this is a pin just to help support the plastic. So the head I'm using to start off with is uh, basically this is a, a 70 a UTC in red. Just covers really well. You could use the 140 if you want. Now I'm just going to quickly run down, run down. It's a reasonable layer of thread onto the tube. Now the fat of is a this is a slight variant of it. I mean, it is a fat of gold, but it's just I'm just using other materials. Say, if I press an orange or a red tag at the back, I'm going to use this is a wide red holographic. I just catch it on the side and round about five to six mil. Now to protect that, what I do is put some super glue on and then just wind over the top. This will make it a lot stronger and obviously last a few fish. Simply tie that down. Now for the tail I'm just using a fluorescent orange antron. Just a fibre brushed out to form a tail. Depends on how heavy you want it. Now length. Now you're looking probably the length of the tube. Or at least the length of the body anyway. Just lining this up a wee bit. And there's the body length, just over the back. And tie it on. Now, the body, the flies, and basically one, around about a third, just over a third. It's going to be like a gold and silver flash that I've got. It's a braid that I use. And that's the measure for it. Now you're looking for... I use wire more than I use oval tinsel in this fly, these flies. Basically they're more... they last much longer. Now, just tie this in. Just take your time. Make sure that's tied down. Now your braid, this is the type of braid that I use. I basically buy it from a sewing shop, DMC, and it's a gold and silver, just a flat sort of tinsel or mylar, which is woven together. It's obviously for some sort of dressmaking, but it's ideal for, for these flies. It's a nice colour. Anyway, I'm back down, I tie this in. Just run it along, right to the tail. Bring the thread back up and then tie it down nice and tight. Cross your thread and tighten up. And trim away your excess. Now for the second part of the body. I've got some black glister. Now this is really nice when it's on the fly. Now you could mix this with some seals for if you want. If you just if you don't like the flash itself or a black dubbing just to thicken it up. But I like the, the glister just as itself. Now make sure you put plenty on. I'm just starting it off and I'm gonna go down and come back up. Just stretching it out and twisting so it's nice and Nice and tight. And then start to build up your body. Because you want some of this to brush into the... I'm going to put a body half along this. And you want it to brush in. Just adds a lot of colour to the fly. And you go up more. Now you need at least a head area around about 4 millimetres for all your winging material and your hackle. And once you've got enough, just bring your thread to the front. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change thread. I prefer, this is a flat thread, a round thread, and this is uni. Now you could use 6-0 if you want. I personally like 8-0, it's a finer thread. So just try to get used to it. 
Now for the body hackle, this is just a white neck, badger neck, dyed a hot orange. Now a saddle hackle is actually easier to put on than one of these. But I like the length in these hackles, so I like to use them. I like the longer fibre than the shorter fibre, especially in a fly this size. Just catch it on the side, turn away the stem, and then quickly take the hackle down. Don't worry about the high length of the hackle, I like a long hackle in this. Bring your wire across. Now, on the gold area, I like at least three or four turns. Now, the quicker you wind the wire up the body, the less chance you're catching in any of the fibres. I like to do a turn or two towards the head, a nice 90 degree bend into the wire, and then take your thread down and then back up. Bend and break the wire off, and then break away the base piece of your hackle. Just see how it's sitting. Now, what I like to do now is get some get your Velcro and really give it a good a good brush with this, bringing out the, the glister into the hackle. And at the same time, it will soften up the hackle. It just makes it look better. In my eyes, it looks much better, and it swims much better. Now we look. And it's okay. You'll see the fly come together once we start to actually get into the wing. Now, the wing, there's quite a lot to it. I've got three different colours here. Now, this is the underwing. This is the first part of the wing, really. What this is, is dyed orange, then ginger. It's fluorescent orange, uh, Arctic Fox, that's the case. Uh, it's fluorescent orange first, and then a bit of ginger into it, and you get this kind of orangey, it's like redhead sort of colour. And then you get a medium or the ginger itself. And then this is silver fox. Both of those are actually Arctic fox. This is silver fox and this is dyed fiery brown, which is slightly darker. And as well as the wing, I'm going to add in. This is the same dye as uh, this piece here. It's again fluorescent orange and then some ginger. Just to give it, when this is, this is very gold like when it's on the fly. This is goat. Now, it's a very soft coat. It's easy. It's, you, know, you want to try and find the soft, the softest you can get a hold of. Which has taken me a few years to get it. I'm just going to level this up a wee bit. She seems to dip. Bit. Now put the wing on. And we start off with the ginger itself. And I'm going to tie it forward. I'm going to bring this through a small comb I've got at the side of my desk just to tear out the brush or to brush it out. Tie this forward. Now, wing this, I'm looking for a wing around about 3 inches and apply this size. Now, I've only got 2 or 3 turns to hold that. Now, I've got the dyed fluorescent orange, then ginger. This is a lighter colour going on. Again, through the comb just to clean it. It's just slightly shorter than the ginger. Get half a dozen turns in there. Now leave that because that adds to part of the tape of the, the wing. Now I pull this back, bring the thread turns in front, but not onto the, the fox. Just in front, just to hold it. Now get yourself an old brush, like in this case it's a toothbrush, just brush the fibres together. Now Bit of flash into the wing. This is angel hair. This is the rainbow. The rainbow is basically obviously a mixed colour of quite a few reds, golds, silver, blue, and so on. Now all I do is put some either side. Cut at the length of this. Don't go too long. It's just about to the, see the tail length. No further back than that. And that's going to form, help form the, the hump of the wing to give you the teardrop shape. Now once you get to this bit here, you want to tie in some goat. 
and take some from the skin. Now, as I say, you're going to get it's nice and soft, soft, softest stuff you can buy. Uh, now, you can see this is much, much too long. Now, what I do is basically take the, the ends, tips, pull them out, and bring them in. And I keep doing that to line them up a bit better, especially if I apply this size. The length. Now, if you look and get this is near enough the longest. This is about three inches long or so. Just tie it on top, nice and tight. And then brush it into the fox. Come in, trim away. Now for security, always pays, especially with glue, tiny bit of super glue onto the cut ends. And then tie it down. Nice and tight, bring the thread back up. Now at this point here, I'm going to tie in the hackle. Now this is a Chinese hackle dyed black, and it's a cock hackle. It's one of the larger ones at the top of the cape. Now we tie it in by the tip, stop it to the side, two or three turns down and fold back the tip of the hackle. Bring it out and then trim. Just draw back the fibres and do a turn in front of the other. Just drawing the fibres back as you go. Now I prefer the Chinese cock hackle, especially in the ply this size. It's more robust and it's stronger than some of the soft hackles that you get. Now I'm going to put a 90 degree bend into the stem. Just concentrate and put a good half a dozen turns or so down. Trim the stem away and then tidy up. Now, I've got some flash here. This is Reflections. This is Red Rainbow, which is gold, blue, and red mixed together. Now I've got two strands. I'm just going to put two either side. Now, each strand has obviously three bits of flash in it. Once you brush it out, it mixes you extremely well into the wing. Just make sure it stays on the top, just have a wee look to see how it's sitting. Now what you can do is open these, this flash up, and then brush it into the actual the wing. Now to help hold the flash, because sometimes the flash goes a bit crazy, this is why I, the, the darker colour, I'm using the silver fox now, the fiery brown. Again, I'm going to brush it, open it out, and then set it on top. Just look at the length. Give three or four turns to hold it, and trim away. Now, you must have really good scissors, sharp scissors, to tie this in, or to cut everything away. Now I'm using a pair of tungsten scissors, four inch they are, and I've got a good inch blade on them. So, they cut extremely well. Part of the wing, the taper, is to use some peacock herald. Now we can apply this size, three to four. It just depends on the quality of the herald that you've got. You want it. You want this to come right about three quarters of wing length. Now I'm just running my nail underneath. Just slightly curve. Now tie it on the top. Nice and tight. Come in and trim. And then tidy up. Stay it tight. Now, we want to put some jungle cock on. Get two eyes. Try and get, I mean, 
you don't need, need the best of the best, because see once the jungle cock's on this, it's really nice, even if it's a wee bit rough. I'll just show you how, what these are like. There's two eyes there. Lengthwise, I mean, I like a good eye on, a, on one of these flies. You yeah, look at a good inch into this fly. Just line them up both together, then open up the area where you're going to tie it in. Just spread them apart. Get the, the length you would like. You can put them on individually if you want. I like to put them on together. Just make sure they're the right length. And then fold back the stems, or tuck these back, and then tie over the top. Nice and tight. Build up your head. Cover them nice and square. Just ignore everything just now. And then keep the thread tight. Come in and put finish. Trim away your thread. Take off these jungle cut stems. Or cut them away, it's entirely up to yourself. I just like to fold these a wee bit so they the hug the side of the wing. And there you go. That's the Fata Gorba, or slight variant, but it's basically it is the Fata Gorba. And then, what I like to do, super glue first, and then within a short time, I mean within an hour, you can varnish the head again. It's absolutely solid. Just normal varnish after that. Mm -hmm.